fucking cat. Hold on! Goddamn trunk won't open. There you go, it's open! <clears throat> How do you get your mouth to smell so bad? What do you do? Oh, it's a nice repellent. Oh, there he is. Hi. Hey, it's Don. How you doing? You got this. Louie. Stop it. Louie. Louie. Oh, you got your little uh, backpack. Your uh, my backpack. Yeah, my sister, she she teaches middle school, so this was left over in her class. And got the doors jammed in there. Oh, that's nice. You get a deal in here. I pull forward a little bit. I see, I see you got Labradoodles in this neighborhood now. That's not a good sign. You know, it is a certain, uh, you know, it casts a certain pal around the neighborhood when you got high-end dog breeds trotting around. What I've noticed is that the people who walk them don't look at you in the eyes. They do kind of a frozen statue thing where they see you coming. They let the dog have a sniff or whatnot. How do I get to 94? Go up there, make a left. That's the, the end of sentence. You know, Al, I gotta be honest with you, this, this uh, vehicle might be subject to impound. It hasn't, uh, it hasn't been registered since 2018 and it's probably accrued three or four years worth of bypass fees. Uh, you know, toll violations. You we know, are... I think we're gonna be fine. We look respectable, you know, it, it's a late model Camry, we're gonna be fine. Which way am I going? Uh, keep going straight. You know, I So think... we're gonna do, Tom, we're gonna stay on this for about four blocks. Trust to the process. We're gonna go to Keeler, we're gonna make a left, there's the on-ramp. Keep going straight. No, no, no. Oh, okay, shit. I, I think that since we're, you know, it's important to point out that since we are going through the state of Wisconsin, it's a little bit more lax, and we can breathe a little bit more of a sigh of relief. You know, absolutely, absolutely. Because, you know, you don't need to have insurance over there <clears throat> up in Wisconsin. You don't need to have, you know, you know, basically any kind of working vehicle. They let it go. It's a hotbed. It's a refuge for people uh, uh, licensing their cars to avoid excess taxes from out of state. They really are. You know, they are very sensible and generous with, with the taxes. They don't they don't rake you over the coast. This, this is the new recycling. Lori, she sold out the recycling like... Daily did with the parking meters. Oh, it's privatized now. There you go. That's it. Yep. Recycling, not trash. Okay, so turn left here, and there's the on ramp. It's a uh, Chicago Botanic Garden. I've, I've been evicted from that location on more than one uh, more than one occasion. They seem a little, uh, you know, buttoned up, a little uh, institutional. I could I could see they it's, uh, being they ejected. Got a, a lot of Gentiles there. Very very clean and crisp. You know, you, you get the. Uh, you know, it's, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. It's it's not a hard task to get thrown out of that spot. You know, half day road. This is uh, what is it? McHenry County, Lake County. It's where all the druggy kids used to live when I was growing up in high school. I knew a couple kids from up here in these suburbs. Bleak fucking places. Those. I would probably be on heroin if I was out here. You know, you're looking. You you'd be looking for something for sure if you were growing up out here. You know what? You know you're gonna find Jesus. You're gonna find the insane clown posse. You know you're gonna find you know what have you different you know groups to belong to. I mean, there's really there's nothing out here. It's just it's a office parks and parking lots. You gotta have a fuck half the neighborhoods don't even have sidewalks. You can't walk around. And then once you're inside, it's a labyrinth of of, of entrapment. You know, you basically you go in. And then you're just waiting for the private security from the little gate to come find you. You know what? You know? I remember the cops are they're terrible here too. They got they're like two Missouri, square miles. They're like Missouri cops. They got nothing to do. They're just bored. There's nothing more dangerous than a bored cop. The Is lake, it an oasis? Lake you want Forest me to, I'm Oasis. I'm supposed to get across five lanes right now. You got to tell you me this earlier. It. I you can't go it. across I, five lanes. I was lanes saying it. It's three miles. It's three miles. You got three miles. It's said two exits. That's we got we got the trucks and stuff on it. You got it. You got traffic. You got stick traffic for a Friday at eleven a.m. You got oh, it. Geese. Remember who, who was the, that prick governor of Wisconsin? What was his name? Scott Walker. Oh. What happened to that guy? Wouldn't you want to just shave that guy? I think he went to. Congress. I would love to just get him duct taped into a piece of cardboard 
you know, and just shave him. There I you can't go. get over there. That's not I can't it, though. Get over it's it. one more after God damn this. It. Where's that guy coming from? I didn't even see you it. You got tons of room. I haven't driven his car in four years. You know, I'm used you're to the, used ones to the truck the where you're up high now. Yeah, there you go. You're fine. Oh, that's get nice. There's a fuel tank. We'll go right under that thing. Shimmy right under. Here we go. Massive explosion. Okay, see, two, one mile. We Ooh. got plenty of time. Ooh, Panda Express now. Do people actually still eat that? They I do. Think it, and they I do. I feel sick to my stomach. Look, it's, uh, it's Six Flags. I remember uh, I went there once as a kid, you know. I uh, think my cousin barfed on me. I'm serious, he did that. They got the water park, too. It's a fucking, it's a wonderful spot to contract some sort of disease. What you got to do, though, you save the Coke cans, and then you get $10 off. You get hand, foot, and mouth disease, you go in that pool. You know, you might get mad cow disease on a raging bull over there. You know, you got both these cup holders. I don't, where am I supposed to put mine? You got, you know, I don't know. This, I didn't know you had a cup. I didn't kind of see, a monopoly here. I wasn't aware of your needs, and now that I know them, I will accommodate you immediately. Bernie Mills, that's a, that's a terrible place. I need some sex. Let's go to Gurney Mills. That's sporting goods, outdoor world. The you know, shoplifting we can do. experience is there. Probably. Go to the... You know, Vanessa, but, uh, you know. Vanessa De Benedetto got thrown out of... Uh, she got banned for life from uh, Drift Town. No, no, no. Wow. Drift Town. What is it? The, which Village unique, discount. No, unique. unique. She got unique. banned okay, for life okay. from Unique down there. Off Halstead. Because she was stealing stuff. And I wow. said, I said to her, I said, why are you stealing stuff from a thrift store, you know? Okay. And she said, because I didn't want to pay for it. I said, okay, that's fine. I that's logic. I mean, you know, it checks out. Look at the full car right here. Up 15th oh, toll wow. violation. Is that foliage. That foliage. You know, I'm really glad that we're traveling north as we, as we get... Uh, you know, deeper into fall here. It, it's really beautiful. You know, there's a lot of green still. However, we're starting to see some of those yellows. And, uh, you know, there's some russety colors popping you know, I'll up. I'll be honest with you. I don't even mind paying the tolls. I just don't know where to tag one. You know, it, it, and I don't want to go it, on there. I it, go on a website, try to get a new tag. It's a, it's a fucking, you know, it's torture. It's like, I feel like I'm actually going to the DMV. You know what the problem is, Tom? My blood pressure starts iPad, rising. Yeah, the I iPad. get screaming and cursing and, and shit. You know, that wouldn't, that wouldn't happen if you just went to Jules. You, know, you can't you get an eye pass in Yeah, you can. You cannot get an yeah, eye you pass Yeah, you can. You can get an eye pass in Jules. Show me where you can get an eye pass in You can completely get an eye pass in Jules. You could do that at Dominic's. You can't do hang that on, at hang Jules. Hang on, hang on. Look at I, I, I pass at Jules. You can't do that at Jules. Hang on. No, I got to get the... Rose Cranes Road. Hang on, hang on. I, I is, pass at Jules. What is a Rose Cranes? What is a Rose I, Cranes? I, you know, honestly, I think it's Shakespearean. I don't want to see no, no Jules the singer. In poet. Oh, I, I, she was nice. I liked her. Wow. I'm getting, I'm getting big time Dahmer vibes from that truck. That up is there. sketchy. It it's, is oozing sketch. You know, it's like a, like a windowless kidnapper <laughs> van would not look any more out of place next to that thing. You know, it looks. You know, it just yeah, it looks like a Mad Max Wisconsin backcountry kind of kind of creeper truck. Like an Amazon delivery spread like herpes in a fucking frat house. Another goddamn Amazon warehouse. Where Amazon it fulfillment. Complete. Isn't it, you know, it's ironic how they talk about fulfillment. Like, nothing from Amazon will ever fulfill Amazon your empty is the, soul. Amazon is the embodiment of a void. Yes. <laughs> of a it, cultural and spiritual void. You know, why does it feel like there's always goddamn road construction going on in Milwaukee? Because it's like Chicago. There's always construction. Milwaukee's just a little Chicago. But I never see nobody working. I don't see anybody out here. I didn't see any guys the whole time. We've been driving past these goddamn oh. orange cones for the past six miles. You think it's a racket? You think they just put the cones out I here? I think it's a good one. I mean, and if it were a racket, it'd be a good one. They're probably making a lot of money. I think it's one of the longest therm rackets. You know, and then you get the cops out here waiting for people. You know, you get to lower the speed limit automatically, say it's a work zone. Now you got an extra 10, 20 miles per hour. They put the little the sign with the crayon font that says, you know, my daddy works here, slow down. Well, there's some guys. But they put that they put that sign there. You know, that's emotional manipulation. 
What happened with the what happened with the, the daily parking scam? You know, when he privatized, what's the It's company? still going. It's LAC. still going. It's but they still don't going. actually come out and check, do they? You know, they, they, they no, they do. They come around. They got the vests on. They got a big thing of tickets and a cargo pants. And, uh, you know, they, they're out there and they got their van. They got a guy in a van in case anybody messes with them. What a target them. for your wholesome Christian values. Wholesome Christian you values. Purchase some, you can purchase them out. No, but the LAZ thing, I was telling people... You know, uh, and, and I got this from a buddy of mine. We, we went out. I'm not saying we went out doing it one night, but if we did do it, it was certainly fun. But you go and you get some construction foam or liquid nails. Okay. And, uh, you know, you something go out at night. Yeah, something, you, that's you, gonna, you know, something that's going to set up real nice. Two or three beers in, you get a little loose. You just start. It gives you a reason that's to it. whack. You know, take the dog with you. Until you're going out walking a dog. You're just whacking the You see the pay boxes. It's you right see there. The boxes, you, okay. And you take the liquid nails in your coat, take it out. And okay. Just do a little line, you know, just a little bead, just a, a little bead, just seal like, it like, off. Yeah, like I see you're what doing you're a bead of cock I see what you're saying. Scratch, and you just put it right in that credit right card in, slot, in, and then it expands. And uh, next thing you know, they, they can't get it in out there. of service. They can't get it and in you've there. You've just done everyone who parks on that street is, uh, you know, community service because what they for the next week until they fed. because it's a private company, they don't want to hire some guy no, to go out there tomorrow. Nobody's going to come up. What are they going to come and uninstall the machine? I don't think so. I remember uh, some of the cops that arrested me when we were going into the cold storage building down there in Blue Island. Uh, it's uh, Yuppie Condos now. Okay. It's Yuppie Condos. But it's the, not the cold storage that's now Google. No, no it's the one on Blue know. Island. I, I think oh, that one's down there. On Blue Island, but we were that there. one down there. Okay. I think it, um, and, you know, for cops, they weren't that bad. But I remember, you know. So I, they were pretty I, bad. But I remember seeing them and thinking, you know, Jesus Christ, these guys are just so stressed out, blood vessels, you know, they were so perpetually high strung. They're going to have a stroke right there right, in front of you. Right, their face was just constantly Look. red. And I, I remember, you know, wondering, I wonder if they're going to be alive in 10 years. I don't know if they are. They could be. You know, and if they're not, you know, God bless them. How do they do that over here? You oh, my God. Them, what it, is? Throw it in a machine. So, eight about a cadaver dogs, police and workers dug and sifted most of the day, filling at least six paper bags with what appeared to be bones and bone fragments. That's disturbing. At one point, an officer held up a long bone with decayed cloth attached to it before placing it in a brown paper bag. Police also found two different sneakers several feet underground and placed those in bags as well. Oh, my God. Those sneakers, so was a more modern homicide. Nice. This article uh, on one of these science pages two or three days ago, and it said, uh, oh, yeah? you know, if you uh, if you're waking up at three or four in the morning every night with crushing anxiety, it's perfectly normal. You know, at least for the times that we live in. That sounds about right. Okay. It happens to me. You know, it's a pretty regular occurrence. A sense of despair and longing for something better that's uh, not going to arrive at any point uh, in what the do near you, future. What, what do you think? Uh, what do you think it'll be, though? What do you think? Why do you think that is? Uh, I think it's just, uh, you know, it's a, a subconscious uh, recognizance of the times that we live in, you know. I think it's perfectly normal. It's just kind of your brain trying to deal with the uh, abject reality. Right. And I think, uh, you know, there was something that living in California taught me. And it was that the forced positivity is probably one of the worst things oh, you can try to do for yeah. yourself. You know? it doesn't it's work. very, it's very unhealthy. It doesn't, doesn't work like that. I've since taken a more uh, uh, honest approach. Okay. You, know? you just you, you take the darkness in, put a little, just a little uh, dressing of little humor. On it. Sometimes, sometimes a lot of humor. You know, just like a salad dressing, or like, like a Parmesan a, shaker, a Parmesan on a shaker, or red pepper flakes. And you just use it to make it go down easier, you know? And it's kind of nice, actually. You right. can start to exactly. enjoy it. So you're still eating the shit, but it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, get lost. It's got to twist the lemon. And, and you don't, yeah, and it doesn't, it doesn't uh, leave such a sour taste in the mouth as it goes down. Because you're going to eat that shit regardless. Of you the, got to. You know, just uh, drink the shit with a little bit of red pepper flakes. You know? It's nice. Make it, make, make it have a little bit of flavor to it. to live in one of these old farmhouses with the silo by it, you know, it's so idyllic. 
you yeah, know? But you don't want to live next to the interstate, though. No, not next to the interstate. But, you know, look at that. A red barn, some silos. That's, you know, that's some kind of, you know, that harkens back to a time I was never part of and I know nothing about and that the grim realities of were actually horrible. But romanticized in my mind with no context the illusion or information. Is nice. It's the nice. The illusion is nice. It is so like a nice. Lot of things. fucking guy in a Nissan just flipped me off. You know, I, it's like I could hear it coming from, uh, it's because I didn't want him to pass me. He's trying to pass me. There's no room. I'm going I'm going faster. Yeah, I got a more aerodynamic vehicle. He's got a couple little scooters on that trailer. He's got mopeds Those or whatever the shit. I don't want to be behind the mopeds. What if one of those things uh, flies off, you know? Now he's 45 miles behind us, Tom. And now he gets so turned up, you know, and I could just see it. You know, I look into his, his sagging pasty eyes as I pass him. And I could just hear him go, fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Know? you. Fuck, fuck you, you, dude. I don't want to be behind that. No, you, you don't know? need, I, I you don't need that, that kind of negativity no, in your life. No, I don't need life. negativity. You don't it's need not that. even anything personal. I just don't want your fucking moped flying off coming at me when I'm going 80 down the goddamn freeway. Tied it down with some inconsequential Why's he got to do that? You know, I think he's lost sight of the bigger picture. I mean, what? I think and now this guy's passing out. Yeah. We're enveloped in a cancerous globule. You know, and this guy, I mean, I want him to have fun. I want him to genuinely enjoy himself. He wants to take those scooters take those to the scooters campground. Take somewhere, go around, have a great time. You don't need to flip me off, guy. I got nothing against you, so I'm just going to let, you know, I'm just going to let it bounce off, you know, sticks and stones. Live and let die. I don't care. I'm going 85 already. What do you, you want me to do? I don't know what he wants you to do. What do you want me to do? I can't pull over. I can't get in the right lane because then I'm, I'm going faster than everybody in the right lane, but I'm just not going faster than You're not going him. 95. You know? So they're going to give you a hard time. You know? What's his big rush to go to Green Bay? What? Uh, is there a fire? I don't know. You know, sometimes when you're going down a, a thought chain of negativity. You just gotta stop and you just take a big deep breath. And, uh, and I've been trying to do that more. And that I, sounds good. I think, uh, you know, I've noticed some behavioral changes within myself. Wow, well, okay. Which may or may not be attributed to, I tell you, my nephew, Mickey Femi, the other day with, uh, with uh, MDMA. He, he dosed you? Yeah, he dosed me. Well, I don't wow. know if he intended to, but, you know, I had a ginger ale out and he was, I think he, that's how he takes, because he does all this stuff. And I say, fine. Don't bring it on my well, house. He though. reads about it on the internet. He reads about it on the internet. You know, it is, it's, I remember they were doing it in the 90s rave culture. Remember when Mayor Daly was shutting down all the rave warehouses? Uh, yeah, the warehouses, they're having parties, people falling out, dying of dehydration, right, whatnot. Right. They're wearing the goofy pants and the plastic jewelry and stuff. Now, that's them from the Polish Goths, which are also wearing they're big pants. Big pants as but well. They're but they're more, more of like the bondage thing. They yeah, got with the metal the, chains and yeah, stuff. Yeah, through the know? nose and whatnot. But yeah. anyway, so he dosed me, and, you know, he wow. said, he wow. said, uh, you know, uh, Uncle Tone, you're going to go through it now, and there's just no getting out of wow. it. Wow. You know? Unless you want to go to the hospital, get your stomach pumped. You, and, you went uh, through the gate. Yeah, and I said, well, I don't want to do that, because then i got to tell him I did this stuff. I don't want to do that, you know. And, and I, still got, I still got, you know, uh, I, stuff I'm trying to get expunged off my record from five years ago with the whole uh, pilot from the warehouse thing, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, that's taking a while. Remember where that was? That was off in Maywood, so, you know. Because of that. And you don't want to and be that was, in there. That was freaking Tommy's fault. The documentation. I don't always want to be involved fault. in that. Tommy was the one that had that whole thing and you know made it seem like we were just going bowling. Next thing I know, we're outside of a warehouse at 1 a.m. in uh, in Schiller Park. Thank you, you know. So anyway, but anyway, so I said, okay, Tommy. I was gonna do this now, and we're going, we're going into the void. And uh, and I just processed a lot of stuff, thought about a lot of stuff. Next thing I know, you know, like now I'm driving in traffic, and it used to be this thing where uh, you know, I'd be in the left lane and someone comes up behind me and are really riding my ass. Riding your ass. And I would just slow down, you know. I would yes. just take my foot off the gas and just kind of watch as the just person got it. really mad. They get, yeah. Wildly gesticulating. Feeding off their anger. Wildly, you know, they're in there wildly gesticulating wow. in, the, in, a, in a cab or truck or car or whatever. You know, hey, fuck you. And I'm just kind of sitting yeah. there laughing. Laughing at him. And, uh, and I don't do that no more. Wow. You know, if someone's speeding up behind me and they want to get through, I just, I just, uh, you say, room, I just move over okay. and let it pass. Yeah, just live and let live. And I no longer try to obstruct, I just let them go. 
know, they seem pretty invested in their lifestyle. You know, it had to bring about some kind of holistic change, and that might be difficult to do just through it. And it's just, it's so, you know, it's so, not a goddamn Amazon warehouse. They it's, just keep on cranking them it's out. It's just so hard to just sit still for that long. It's so bad for you, you know? And so I just want to tell bad. these guys, listen, if you could just, when you're getting out to put your bottle of urine on the side of the road, you know, and uh, forget that you left it there. They yes, could they just do. they could just uh, go do twenty squats too. Do some of just to here. squat arms out, feet shoulder like the part, and do 20, 20 squats. Would that be so bad for your cardiovascular system? No. It might, you know, it might stress them out. It might give them a heart attack. Uh, forty one North. Look at this guy in a it's fucking Hot Wheels truck. To we the people on the back with the you know who's people. people? What does it mean, we the people? What is this guy talking about? He's just, you know, were you there? As if, you know, these people, they act like somehow they're entitled to all of this. As if somehow they're owed I, I think, America. I think, that's the, I think that's very much the point, you know. And it's just this kind of like, this feeling as though you're under attack. Like, no one's attacking you there, guy. You're the least you attacked person. You live in fucking Green Bay. No one's coming for you up here. You got a $40,000 truck. You know, forty. It's probably yeah. With about fifteen grand in accessories, you know. And nobody, just, uh, nobody's coming for you. I don't. I, I can't understand living, you know, uh, like uh, with all the stress of like a criminal that's on the land, you know. Like they're coming for me. Like he's this fucking guy thinks the fucking Guatemalan migrant train's gonna be at his door tomorrow. In know? Peshtigo, Wisconsin. Right. I don't think so, buddy. No. I, I don't, don't think so. I think you're okay there, guy. Why don't you worry about the winters a little bit, or uh, you know. Your coronary artery that's slowly closing. Hey, thanks a lot for driving. Yeah, no problem, Tom. And I just want to do my part. You know, you got it. You got a present paid. What tonight or tomorrow? Tomorrow, right? It's tomorrow. Yeah. Look, we're in the northern woods. It's beautiful. Hey, it's kind of nice. Here. You know, they got all these cedar trees here that they planted after they uh, completely clear cut this entire area. They got uh, they got the arborvitaes, you know, the uh, thuyas, oxidantalus. They got the uh, the pines and stuff, the white pines. They got all kinds of spruce and stuff over there. Now, as far as Christmas trees, are these all available? Stuff. We gotta get you to the dispensary, you know. That's the thing I want to ask you about too. You've been doing edibles. I mean, you know, my doctor a... said he said I gotta switch. I can't smoke no more, so I'm trying to just do the candies, you know. Hey, good thing you didn't know you in the '80s and you were smoking two, or three packs of cools a day. I smoked so many damn cigs, Tom. I probably got a Tobacco City outlet down in my left ventricle. I remember there. your old Astro van. It's smell of the off gassy plastic mixed with the uh, smell of uh, combusted tobacco. <laughs> You're not even kidding about I that. Know, that was uh, shit. I almost had a heart attack in that thing, you know. But, but part of it was just because of the way you fucking drove, you know, all over the goddamn road back then. Is that true? Yeah, you were like that, you know, a very aggressive driver. You know, it's amazing how much uh, muscle you can get out of the engine of an Astro van. You know, it is a six cylinder, it's ready to go. Whatever happened to those? You don't see those around too much anymore. You know, they're sought after. Uh, you know, they got the most inferior cargo space of any minivan. And they're sought after by urban contractors because you can park them on a the street. You know, they're not a work vehicle. You get the windowless one, no one's going to break in there. Right. This, you got to get that's what I would worry about with the windows. So you got to, you know, weld the cage to the, uh, to the windows or something so no one breaks that's in there. That's it. Start stealing your power tools. Like a locksmith truck. Wow. It's what's really nice right now is we're driving along Green Bay shoreline for about 100 miles. Yeah. That's really nice. You know, I do wonder about these rural communities, though. If they do have methamphetamine problems and all these subsequent uh, elements of social decay and criminality that come with that. Yeah, and I'm not sad. talking good criminality. I'm talking about the obnoxious criminality. The desperate, sad criminality. Yeah, you know, like crabs in a bucket, the people on the bottom burning each other, you know? It's That's true. I get tired of. Somebody tries to get out, they gotta drag them back down. Well, look, they got the they got the birches over here, they're already loose their, their uh, leaves and stuff. We're well above the birch line. Come all you bold sailors that follow the lakes, and an iron ore vessel you're living to make. 
We shipped in Chicago, bit a dog to the shore, bound away for Escanaba and Red Iron Ore, and it's down, down, hi there, down, and it's down, down, hi there, down. In the month of this? September the 17th I don't day, know how to do this. Two dollars like and it? a quarter was all they you would pay. You can't sing a sea and on shanty. Monday morning, you the have bridge to sing port an Irish did take. If you're going to sing a goddamn sea shanty, you got to sing it. The Roberts took us out in the Lake Derry I don't down, know this song. How am I supposed to sing with this? High Derry down. I can't sing along with down. this. Down. Are you trying to make me feel bad because I don't know this goddamn song? The packet she held across the mouth of Green Hell, Bay. I, this is a and one before she got water, she washed the white now. spray. I don't we think it's fair for you to the be singing this. Point. The our fucking dogs get worked up back there. We furled in our canvas. I can't be singing any of this. Put the fucking lyrics up so I can sing this for God's sake. I can't do it. down. And it's down. Gotta roll the goddamn windows down. I was listening to Janet Jackson. And you made me. Turn off Janet to listen to this shit. The I don't want to hear these fucking scenes. So we made man. fast for the I'm iron or pile. They lowered their shots and like thunder did roar. Come with the fucking sea shanties. Come with the goddamn sea shanties. Just because we're up by here, listen. Just because we're up by the Northwoods doesn't mean you gotta start singing this shit. Get out of goddamn gore in my brain. Hi, down. Some sailors took shovels and others took On the month of September, the 17th day, two dollars and a quarter was all they would pay. And a Monday morning, a bridge part did take. The easy rappers out into the lake.